Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. What would you tell me if I were to tell you that you can't um, go and shop at your nearest grocery store because uh, your behavior or your statements are unacceptable or because you are rude? Let's say uh, the store will say, you know what, you can't come here because you used this kind of language when we referred, referred to a weasel or something. Let's say so I go to a grocery store or I go to, I don't know, Secretary of State or to open a, a banking account and they say, no, we're not going to uh, open a banking account for you. We're not going to uh, provide you with any services because I think you don't have a, a good record of um, being a nice person. Well, obviously, that's idiotic, isn't it? Um, well, if I ask this question, Australia. If you ask people about Australia, they would say well, Australia is a civilized country, freedom of speech, like the United States of America, like the Western world. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me show you this article coming from Sputnik that might help you change your assessment of Australia, unfortunately. And I don't know how those Australians are so mild. I don't know. After all, it was uh, first inhabited by certain kind of tough guys. They lost that kind of uh, toughness. It seems like not all of them, not all of them, but it seems like the fearful people, the weasels, the scared people are in control of these guys through democracy. That's how you disarm strong people, through democracy. You make them all equal, good, bad, stupid, strong, weak. They're all equal and they're going to vote based on number. Well, you know, stupidity is more uh, spread than intelligence. Therefore, by voting, stupidity will lead. So let me show this article. Sputnik. Australia, quote unquote, compromised by national bank rule, closing accounts for, quote unquote, speech violations. So it seems like national bank of Australia has a rule that it can close your account, banking account, if you have speech violations. So let's say you call someone fat for being fat instead of calling big bold. That's very offensive. Uh, that would, uh, you cannot uh, do business with us. Okay. Well, that's okay because banks depend on us. We don't depend on them because if the banks disappear, we're not dying. But if we disappear, the banks are dying. Therefore, it's like an um, analogy I make with uh, the Old Testament with Adam and Eve. Well, Adam was made out of, uh, Eve was made out of Adam's rib. If you take a rib out and you put it right here, the, without the organism, the rib will die, will rotten. Not the organism, the body, the man, the person, the human being will still be there. But so that tells you who depends on whom. The rib depends on the man, on the organism. The organism doesn't depend on that rib. So the same, I mean, it depends on the heart or lungs, you know, and uh, kidneys or uh, liver and brain and so on, but not on a rib. No, the rib is a bank that in this case we created to help us. And now the banks are in charge of us somehow, somehow. I have a big problem with this, okay, just so you know. Uh, I see banks as being some hyenas, not even hyenas, because hyenas, you know, you know they, they work for it. Some ticks, like a tick, just attach, attaches to you and then sucks your blood and gives you diseases. A new forthcoming rule by the National Australian Bank, NAB, expected to be implemented in November, would, would allow the bank to close customers' accounts for a wide range of speech-related offenses. Offenses. So you make on speech-related offenses. How can you be? What do you mean? As you have a speech of offense. What is the free speech? Well, okay, you can't uh, say fire, blah blah blah. You can threaten people. Okay, blah blah blah. What else? You can't can't create panic. Blah blah blah. You have libel laws. Blah blah blah. But other than that. If I call you fat, I can call you fat how much, much I want. And you can call me ugly and stupid how much you want. So, the problem is here. Am I fat? Am I fine fat? And I'm not changing my condition and I feel offended. I have a problem. 
if I'm fat and you call me fat, yeah, I'm, I'm fat. I other guests get used with my condition. That means your insult, if it's meant to be an insult, is not going to touch me. Or if I consider it an insult, I'm not going to strangle you so you don't say it. I either change my condition or I live with it. All right. If someone calls me stupid, do I think I'm stupid? No, I don't think I'm stupid. So why do I bother? If someone calls me a cracker, should I? Oh my God, cracker! I don't even give a fuck. I don't give a shit, man. Why? If you know who you are, and how do you know who you are? In competition with the rest, by comparison, by judging. All right. That's how you know how you are. You go to school. You get in competitions. You run and see who's run faster. If I run faster, I'm better than you, obviously. And you slower, like a snail, or vice versa. Okay? If I fail a test and you pass a test, I'm stupid as a rock. Oh no! Don't say you're stupid. Well, what am I smart? Oh, you were just unlucky this time. <laughs> okay. All right. So don't go with euphemisms. You do euphemism. You you just cover the reality and you create a false uh, self-esteem. That's what you do. And then we're gonna ask the guy to do something. Yeah, I can do that. Why? Uh, because I was just, just unlucky. Unlucky. 50 fucking times before and now I'm just gonna break it. All right, whatever. So let's go here. A banking expert said it was an abuse of human rights and antithetical to democratic values. I don't think it's about democratic values. It's about to freedom. You're a free person, not democratic. It's antithetical to freedom, liberty. According to a news release by the bank about the updated terms and conditions, the rule will allow bank administrators, human beings, to investigate and close the accounts of people reported to have used, and I'm quoting, coercive or controlling behavior, behavior to limit a person's access to or use or funds. Okay, that's mm. next one. Making profane, derogatory, discriminatory, or harassing comments at any person. You're fat, you're fat, you're fat. No bank account for you, Emil. What? What is this, kindergarten? Yeah. Making or promoting threatening or abusive language to any person. Abusive. If you call me stupid one time, I think that's abuse. You should not have a, uh, a banking account. And I'm going to go to another human being who has a record of you and say, oh, we're we going to give you a B. So you fall, you know, we're going to get your uh, human quality level. We're going to uh, degrade it from A to B. If you got a C, no more account for you. They will decide what kind of person you are. That's how we create a society that will be good, but not free. Anyway, and he says, and making or threatening physical or psychological harm to any person. You know, well, then if some you have a troll on the internet, will that uh, create psychological harm? It depends on me. If I get, uh, you know, harms me psychological because you call me stupid three times, uh, but if you call me 3,000 times, which one is it? Three times or 3,000 times? If I get damaged after three times and Gigi gets damaged after 3,000 times, are you going to go with a three or 3,000? And how do you measure that? You're going to have a psychiatrist or psychologist. Psychiatrist is going to uh, prescribe you some medication so you can be normal, supposedly. You know, you get this one done, but you fuck up other things. And side effects, Jesus Christ. This is a psychiatrist, okay? Or you're going to have a counselor. And the counselor is going to fix you, but the counselor is divorced and filed for bankruptcy three times. And he's gonna do a be a family counselor. Fuck off. All right. All right. The, the rule change is in keeping with guidance issued by Canberra in June that seeks to bring various government institutions functioning in line with national law. What? The move has aroused the fury of defenders of free speech which does not have the same legal foundations as it does in the United States. That means Sorry, you're some less uh, or something, right? Where speech by any large, by and by and large is legally restricted only by its potential to Im uh, imminently provoke violent or illegal behavior. Really? Uh, how about Nigel Farage? He's not from America, United States of America, but remember that problem with his co coots, I think a banking coots account? That they say, Mr. Farage, you are a compromised, uh, is that how it was? compromised person? CPI was, I think, a politically compromised uh, uh, individual or something like this it was, right? PCI or something like that. Daniel Freiheit. Freiheit. That means uh, freedom, Freiheit in German. German, Freiheit. 
right? Try height. A council at uh, Rousseau, Mazuka, LLP, and Law Society of on Ontario, certified specialist in corporate and commercial law, was one such person who spoke out. The entire Commonwealth is compromised, end quote. Try height. Wrote on X Twitter when the news about the NBA rule change broke. Look into dual citizenship and consider moving your savings to countries that respect property and speech, end quote, he said. Sputnik asked the attorney about the thoughts about free speech and how the rule could affect the banking se sector. And uh, I'm quoting, when money is frozen, it makes it hard to challenge the decision because the person has no money to retain legal counsel, Freiheit observed. I said the entire Commonwealth is compromised because the use of a bank freezes appears to be part of a common pattern in Canada and Australia now, going against basic human rights, free speech, end quote, he said on Thursday. Of course, there are and ought to be limits on speech, but this approach of freezing money is quite harsh, escapes due process and is very difficult to challenge, end quote. This notion, not being able to criticize our government, is antithetical to democ democratic values and to me indicates our commonwealth system has been compromised, he said. Well, my friends, I can't speculate how this will evolve, but one way this could play out is if an Australian routinely criticizes the Australian government or an Australian criticizes an individual working for the government, a politician, the politician can in theory notify the bank or said individual being profane and the bank could then freeze the person's banking bank account all for the crime, quote unquote, of being too critical of the government. Well, I, I wouldn't even go that far. Um, if you start uh, debating in case, that means you lost the first argument. The first argument is no. There is no. That's it. No. You don't say, well, in case that uh, happens. No. It should not. It ought not. It will not happen. Once you talk about the next step, what would you do in case it happens? You already, you're not focused on the first step. You already lost the first step. No, you didn't lose the first step. You shouldn't lose the first step, which is no such bullshit should be in a free society. As free as we are, you know, we are allowed to be. We're free. Free to, anyway. So here, my friends, if I say certain things here, uh, my freedom is going to be immediately uh, closed. So that's how free I am. If you're free, you are free or you're not. Now, you're a kind of limited freedom. What is this? And who decides that? The society? And who's in charge of that? Who appointed the politicians to be in charge of my freedom? Well, that's the way it is, Amir. Well, okay, I don't like it. She's too fat for me. You can have her. All right, my friends, this is uh, the way it is. Um, I saw the COVID bullshit, how these guys treated us here and everywhere else. Uh, um, Look how they treat the Russian population versus how these guys treated the American population and see who was more free than whom. For instance, or you look at the Swedes, how they treated their citizen, citizenry versus the American, the land of the free and the, of the brave. It's just words, man. Just words. Just words. It's better. It's better than many other places. But to tell me that this is... is uh, b -b 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 used to be. Right now, you want to buy a gun, you got to jump to 1,000 hoops. Why? And then if you have it, you have to have it under all kind of regulations and all that. Go and tell this to a guy from 1802 in America. Hey, you have a, uh, a gun, uh, you have to register, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to hold it like this, you have to... Uh, the guy was looking like, what the hell are you talking about? What the hell are you talking about? Like these guys here, for instance, uh, there's some idiots, uh, governors and uh, their lackeys. Now they made a law, for instance, in Michigan, where you can't uh, uh, text and drive. In the same time, you can't have a device and so on for safety, for safety, you know, for empathy, for not injuring others and yourself. We're going to be tyrants. We're going to infringe your right. Imagine you would tell this to a guy and I know if you can text, can you scratch your balls? What about scratching your, I don't know, right here? Can you do that? I mean, you draw, your attention is there. Can you, I don't know, uh, use these hands for your partner's uh, goodies? Can you use that? Or you, or you can't do that either. Would they, what? I mean, many, you can do like this, for instance? Can you drive with one eye open? I don't know, can you do that? Can you drive in a certain angle on, on your back? Or it has to, your seat has to be straight? I mean, it's so ridiculous. And who the uh, hell is in charge? Since when, since when these guys are in charge of regulating our lives, how the way we, we live? 
Anyway, if I want to scratch my balls uh, when I'm driving a car, I'm gonna what? It's unbelievable, my friends. And we just, we just, we just take it. Just take it. Whitmer, an idiot. And um, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. If you wanna, if you wanna do that, you do it. But no, if you wanna wear a mask, you wear a mask. If you're scared of cat, you're afraid, you should stay and survive. Let me leave. You just survive. Yeah, Australia is not a, is Australia is just a, with the COVID and New Zealand when it was that Annalenda, Annalenda, the Prime Minister of uh, of New Zealand, I was like throwing up. What the hell is wrong with mommy? Mommy with power. I don't need the mommy. I, I want to live my life. I don't want to live my life the way Annalena said or Biden or Kamala says or not even. Okay. Jesus Christ, man, we, 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 we're, we're treated like toddlers and we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse me, how many masks? Should I wear a mask when I'm driving alone in a car? People do that. Can you believe that? Yeah, just take your camera for, uh, well, you, can't, you can't use it while you drive, so my bad. It's illegal, they said. They told me I can't do that. Like you tell a child, you know, wash your hands before you go and eat or I don't know. Before you go outside, do this or uh, brush your teeth in the morning and so on and in the evening and whenever. Oh man, it's, and this is a freedom. This is garbage. 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 Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.